Hi you guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Alvaro, slowly climbing up the list of your favorite retired mountain biking heart doctors. Today, I'm going to go over the most common cause of dizziness and passing out in people over the age of 70. It's called orthostatic hypotension, and it's defined by a drop in systolic blood pressure of 20 points or more when going from the lying to the standing position. Let's talk about what normally happens when you stand up. All of us, somewhere along the line in our lives, have felt at least a little lightheadedness immediately upon standing, and it usually goes away fairly quickly. What's happening that's making you lightheaded is that when you're laying down, the blood inside of your arteries and veins is distributed evenly throughout your body. But when you stand, some of the blood that was in your head and upper body falls into your belly and pelvis and legs because of gravity, because blood is a liquid and accordingly behaves like any liquid should in gravity. This in turn temporarily decreases the blood flow to your brain, giving you that whoa, woozy feeling. But it goes away fairly quickly because like I mentioned in my vasovagal video last week, your body has feedback mechanisms and sensors all over the place that know exactly what's going on including what position you're in. So as you're standing up, these mechanisms are immediately activated, which tell the blood vessels in your lower body to squeeze and your heart rate to speed up, both of which will help restore the blood flow to your brain. Normally, all of this happens quickly and adequately enough that you don't ever notice anything. The normal response to standing is a drop in your systolic blood pressure of less than 20 points. Unfortunately, just like everything else in our bodies, these feedback mechanisms deteriorate as we age. And so, we can develop an abnormally large drop in our blood pressure when we stand, which can cause profound lightheadedness or even passing out which is actually why hospitals are full of 80-something-year-olds who got up and passed out and broke a hip. But there's no 20-something-year-olds in there with the same thing. Besides age, dehydration also plays a huge role here because blood is mostly water. So when you're dehydrated, you have less blood, which in turn means your blood pressure starts off lower and can fall farther. I also have to mention medications. They can be big contributors to orthostatic hypotension. People are often prescribed medicines called diuretics and antihypertensives, which help treat their swelling or congestive heart failure or high blood pressure. And these kinds of medications will lower blood pressure, which can obviously contribute to this issue. Now, to be clear, that's not to say people should never take diuretics or blood pressure medicines. Of course they should. But one has to be very careful especially in the elderly, to make sure that they're not developing orthostatic hypotension. Because it can be deadly. You can imagine if you stand up and pass out and whack your head on something, you could bleed into your brain. And unfortunately, this actually happens often. There are also some diseases which often contribute to orthostatic hypotension. Two very common ones are Parkinson's disease and diabetes. All right, if you are getting lightheaded or passing out when you stand up, please go see your doctor as soon as possible. And very importantly, you have to make a few behavioral changes. You absolutely have to get up slowly and have something to hold on to. Don't just start walking. Wait till all the lightheadedness has passed before you get moving. Also, you have to avoid dehydration and make sure you're not over medicated. This is not something you do, it's something that your doctor does. Also, compression stockings help a lot as they help squish the blood out of your legs and back up to your heart and brain. Usually, just with counseling and behavioral changes, orthostatic hypotension is a very manageable condition. But remember, go see your doctor so they can figure out the appropriate therapy for your individual situation. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, or suggestions for future topics, leave them down below in the comments section. And if you learned something today, please smash the like button and subscribe, 
and tell your friends to tune in and family because maybe I can help them a little as well. All right, have a great day, eat healthy, mountain bike if you got the guts, and I'll see you later.